Salmon are often touted for their omega-3s, which is absolutely true, but here's the thing. The real origin of these essential fats, like many nutrients, is much further down the food chain. Omega-3s, like DHA and EPA, are made by marine algae, the foundation of ocean ecosystems. These tiny organisms are the original source. As algae are eaten by zooplankton, and then by smaller fish, and eventually larger species like salmon, omega-3s are passed along and concentrated. So while salmon are a rich dietary source of omega-3s for us, they don't actually produce them themselves. They accumulate them through their diet. Now, when we farm salmon, these omega-3s are delivered through a carefully formulated feed, often containing fish oil and fish meal made from wild-caught forage fish, like anchovies or sardines. But as the demand for farm seafood globally grows, so does the need for even more sustainable feed ingredients. Aquaculture is already a sustainable way to utilize marine resources when done right, but the future will see it go much further, and that's where innovation comes in. Researchers are developing new ways to produce omega-3s, from algae-based oils to fermentation technologies, even genetically modified seed oils that can produce EPA and DHA on land. This is really cool stuff. Importantly, right now, farm salmon contains around one and a half to two grams of omega-3s. It's pretty incredible. And novel feed ingredients will need to maintain or even outdo that. They aren't widely adopted yet. It's still largely in the experimental phase. Sea farms will need many thousands of tons of it, after all. Nevertheless, it's a shift that will, in time, further reduce pressures on wild fish stocks, while ensuring farmed salmon remains a healthy and reliable source of omega-3s in our diets. 